But the Christians, you know, they are going to the extremes. You read the literature, or when they confront you, these born again, they will tell you, they want to corner you into this place. Says, either, they say, they use the word either. Last night, I don't know, the night before, in the city hall, I was using the word either. Either this or that. Either this or that. They're giving you alternative. So, either way, you get caught. So, either Jesus is God or a liar. This is Christian literature. They will ask you, so look, either Jesus is God or he's a liar. Can any Muslim say he was a liar? No. So he must be God. I am asking, is the word liar, is it an opposite of the word God? Is it an antonym of God in any language? The opposite word for God, is it a liar? No. But now you see, they put it to you in a corner, so now you as, a, we as Muslims, we can't say he was a true messenger of God. We know he would never lie. That's why I say, if he said he is God, then he must be God. I'm prepared to accept it. Show me where. The Quran says he didn't make such a claim and the Bible says the same. He never made any such claim. Either, another, either Jesus is God or a lunatic. I say, when is lunacy, lunatic, an opposite of God? So, are you, any Muslim, can you say Jesus was a lunatic? No. So you are caught. So you must say he's God. Or, another example, either Jesus is God or an imposter. Look at this. Either this or that. Why should they be, they say, this man here is either black or white. But between black and white, there are endless shades of grey. We know that. Among us, look at us. Endless shades, you know, we are. <laughs> Why must it be, he must be black or he must be white? This hat I'm wearing is either white or black. Couldn't I be wearing a grey one? Or a red one? Or a pink one? Why must it be this or that? But this is the type of sickness. You see, they have developed a sickness.